What up, man? What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. K. Reno. Check it out. Um, I want to hit y'all with this one based on something that I had been thinking about. I think about this from time to time. But something I just recently saw kind of made me think about it again. Um, and we don't really always factor in or take into account the fact that we only have one body, one vessel. We only have one vessel. That's it. You know? So, what you do with it is totally different in terms of uh, impact on your life than it is if you get a car and you just run that car into the ground. You just dogging that car out. You mistreat. You ain't changing your all. You just buck wild with your car and then the car goes on it so long and then it goes out so you say okay you know I'll just go get another one well it don't work like that with, with the body this is it this is it so you know we see a lot of people who on dope real bad smoke cigarettes for years and years and trust me this is by no means a video of judgment. Don't miss, don't misunderstand your big brother. Just follow me. But to see people who are drinking and smoking all the time and eating bad and you know you kind of letting yourself go. Um, and then what happens is you start to feel little things going on in your body uh, based on the accumulation of all the things that um, we put into our body. And in some cases, even if you don't do any of the things I was mentioning, and mentioning, you might just slowly start fitting little things in there just without all that. And we chalk it up to where we getting old, man. I'm getting old, man. I'm getting old. Yeah, you know, just, yeah, my back, man. Yeah, man, my foot. But the universe is all about cause and effect. So whatever you fit in is something that's causing that to feel that way. Um, my question to a lot of us who kind of take the approach, you know, because Nothing makes me scratch my head more than if you're having a conversation with somebody about, you know, taking care of their body a little better, eating better, exercising, cutting out a lot of the stuff that we do. Um, nothing makes me scratch my head more than somebody say, oh, man, you know, you're going to die anyway, man. I mean, hey, hey, man, you're going to die. Anyway. Something got to kill you anyway. I'm always looking at people like that, like, and is that really how you feel, or is that just an excuse to try to just to justify, you know, what you want to keep doing? But my question is, because I really believe, I'm of the belief that um, as long as we can look in the mirror and see a uh, a version of ourselves that we deem to be acceptable. We're cool. As long as we can get up, walk, work, move around, do whatever it is you do, as long as we can do something like that, we cool. All the while, we don't see, we can't see on the inside of this vessel, this one vessel that we get. Now, of course, if you go to the doctor or something like that, they make they can take an X-ray. They can show you what's going on. And, but it's an X-ray. What if you could really see? Like almost like a an inverted. You flip yourself inside out and you could see what your liver looks like currently. You could see what your kidney, kidneys look like. You can see the condition of your intestines and all of the junk and all of the stuff 
that's in it. What if we could see that stuff? We can't, so we just move along the way we did. But I guarantee you, if we could, I mean, see it the same way you see your hands. The same way you see your nose and your ears and these shades. The same way you see that. You can just see your heart. And I contend that a lot of us wouldn't like what we see. Now, we've seen examples of like after the fact examples or even like I say, like some stuff that other folks show where they'll show this is what a healthy lung looks like. This is the lung of somebody that's been smoking cigarettes for 25 in bar. Just those examples make you go, man, a cigarette lung look like Somebody put that bar on the, on the grill and just uh, put it in the oven. Or somebody fried it in a skillet. It just looked hard out, burnt up. So what I'm saying, I'm saying all this to say this. Let's all do our best to kind of live in a way as if we could see or we have seen our internals and we didn't like what we see let's imagine that we saw that based on the things that we know that we do on a daily basis eating a whole bunch of pig eating a whole bunch of pigs so that pig is affecting all kind of crap smoking a whole bunch of cigarettes a whole lot of drinking it's affecting a whole lot of stuff. I mean, even soda. Sometimes it ain't about just alcohol, man, you know. A lot of times we just drinking a bunch of soda. Just imagine, just act like you already saw your kidneys. Act like you already saw your liver. Because I think that if we was to be able to, to just... uh. If everybody could raise their shirt up and just pull a light switch like this and see, whoa, I think it would scare the hell out of us. I really believe it would. But the crazy part, some of us are still do it. Some people are still get down, man. And usually, you know, there is a thing called underlying conditions. That, that means that they are traveling under their radar. There's stuff going on that you don't even know is going on. So we got to move as if we got we can't wait until somebody else tell us or show us what's going on. We got to kind of move like it's already happening based on how you feel and based on what you know you do. Can y'all dig that? Try to get you some a activity in, man. Try to get you some exercise as much as you can, man. As much as you can. You ain't young no more. Well, actually, you really are. You just made yourself old by the activities that you, we participate in. We've made ourselves old. So, all right, man, it's your big brother, K. Reno. I'll hit y'all with another one real soon. Y'all go check out the latest episode of the Underground Dialogue Podcast right here on YouTube, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.